Phoenix is a lander that's going to the North Polar Highlands of Mars to look for evidence of habitable zones, places where life might have existed in the past. Moving flight hardware, uh, not even to mention a, an entire spacecraft, is, is usually a delicate affair. Uh, it's very meticulously coordinated. There's, you know, arranging a police escort at three in the morning on a Monday morning, uh, and all the state and local authorities that need to know about something like that, and all the uh, paperwork that's required to essentially close down a section of the highway for a period of time. There's a whole analysis process that goes along with making sure that the spacecraft on the back of a truck, on a flatbed trailer, in the box that it is in, isn't going to be exposed to any environment that it's not rated for. So we know how much force a pothole in the road will induce on the spacecraft. Just a little bit into the trip, it's, we had kind of a light rain. And that's another thing that just makes you ill at ease with your uh, spacecraft that you've had in the clean room up until that, that point in time. We have to fly a spacecraft on a plane all the way from one side of the country to the other. And that is a scary thing. And you kind of look at the box and you look at the aircraft and you wonder, is it, is it gonna fit in there? When they open those rear doors, there's this cavernous space inside. Even as big as it is, uh, this box just barely fits inside it. And it was a really kind of manual brute force operation. just like we're loading a box onto a plane. Inside this box is such an enormous treasure. This is something that these hundreds and hundreds of people have worked on to make it all come together. We've got Air Force pilots, most trustworthy people. They are flying this spacecraft from Denver to Cape Canaveral, and we trust these pilots, but we still worry. We're tracking this spacecraft and this plane as it's flying across the country. And as Florida comes into view, we think, oh, we're okay, and we can relax. We can't be relieved because we have a, still a huge amount of work to do to get this spacecraft to the launch pad, assembled properly, all fueled up and ready to go to Mars. Mm -hmm. 